It's a jungle out there, guys. Be careful. Hi, I'm Steve from 1233D. Today, we are going to do an unboxing and first thoughts video of the LEU Mercury 3 Plus Wash and Cure. Stay tuned. Let's play some supermarket music. Do -do 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 That is the contents of the box. The user manual. We shan't be reading that. Oh, this is a fully, fully sealed baggy bag. It is very snug. The lid. More packaging. Bubbly wrap. Ooh. I shall firstly remove all the contents and then we will go through what all the bits and pieces are. Right. So, first up, I have noticed the basket is plastic and the other Elegoo Wash and Cure. This was a metal basket, so for whatever reason they have changed said design. Then in this package, we have the turntable. On top here, I will tip it forward so you can see. This is exactly how it's arrived. Now we have quite a clever method for lighting below. So when you put your print onto the turntable, they have two mirrors and the LED bars run right the way down so I can only assume that this is going to bounce UV up underneath your model. The turntable literally sits on like so. Just another observation. So here we've got a little roller switch. So I can assume that that turns the unit off if you lift the lid off. You've got your DC in and for whatever reason we have got 24 volts out. We flick on the switch and we have a display. The icons on the front, the little sun icon is for your UV. Two little droplets are for the wash. We will place it as a basket in the container. Fill her up. So the container is marked maximum fill seven and a half liters. I have just emptied in five liters for now. When you've got your IPA in your container, close the lid because it does evaporate. Plus it doesn't smell the best either. So when you're not using it, keep the lid on. So we shall proceed to remove the platform, pop on the washy washer, and we will wash a print. Chris has been very efficient in this video. He's actually pre-prepared a print ready to wash and cure. Don't shoot the monkey if the print is atrocious. How dare you? Alrighty, it is successful. It is on the build plate. I'm gonna pop the whole plate in so we can wash the lot. So the print that we just popped in was printed on the Anycubic Photon Mono 4. We have done a video on that printer, so you will be able to find that video in the link in the description. So yeah, if you haven't checked that out, go along, click the link, watch until your heart's content. Now I shall press the, the wash button and we will probably wash this for four minutes. Start spinny spinny. There we go. We will be back very shortly. Five minutes later. Four minute wash cycle. Done. Halfway through, the propeller reversed. Propeller, impeller, spinny thing. Liquid agitator. However you choose to describe it. It has some blur already. I removed the lid. Obviously, just bear in mind, when you've sliced your model, if you have sliced it hollow, just tip it up and let the majority of the IPA or water whatever your chosen wash medium is to drain as much of it out as you can saving it in your tank because this ain't cheap so we're done with that pop the lid back on again and now we can lift that off i shall now pop back on the plate let this drain off for a little while then i shall go and take it to the kitchen area soak it underneath some nice warm water peel off the supports cure it be right back so credit where credit's due chris outstanding job the supports peeled off like a very ripe tangerine skin. Perfect. So we have the print. We will now pop it on the turntable. Put on the lid. We will now press the magic sun button and we will cure it for, I think, four minutes. Away we go. As the king slowly rotates around the round table. Watch the king very, very slowly turn around and round, 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 round. We won't bore you with this. And we will be back once this is finished in around four minutes. We will remove the lid, take out the print. We are cure. And first impressions are very good. 
So a couple of little bits of support here and there that we've we've missed under his arms and what have you. Overall, very, very satisfactory print, Mr. Thornton. So, first impressions on the Wash and Cure. A compact unit for those of you who don't want separate units, as long as you've got somewhere to store your container. Basically, if you use one of these clear type containers, I advise you to put it in a dark cupboard or cover it up something, basically to stop direct sunlight from hitting it because what will happen it will cure the resin that is inside it to the bottom makes for a mess you do get a spare screw washer which is for the impeller at the bottom so you can take that out if that does become corroded or for whatever reason gunked up with resin you have a spare to replace that with so that's handy try and keep your plate clean you don't really want to be getting lots of resin or wash residue on this because it will obscure the light that's going to come up from underneath thus hampering your curing overall the lid feels of nice quality the machine has quite a large volume this would be very very suitably adequate for medium sized resin printers from the elegu satin range amongst other brands that we stock on the website please be sure to check out the link in the description to all of our sla printers overall impressions does exactly what it says in the box it washes it cures it's got a nice friendly user interface a nice clippy lid to make sure you've got an airtight sealed container keeping vapor fumes out of the air and your precious alcohol contained within the container so all in all very very good if you like the look of this product please check out the link in the description to 123 3d and you can browse at your leisure through all of the products that we stock on our website. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want to, share. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices on the market. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description, and we'll do our very best to beat their price. Also, if you're watching from outside the UK, check the description for links to our European 123 3D sister stores.